I always laugh when people say, why would you play in the WNBA? You guys don't make a lot of money and it's the WNBA and you know, they're all these negative things about the WNBA, but they never really stop and just think and say, you know what? We play because we love the game. We love the game. This is home. This is the best players in the world. Oh man, the women's game to me is, is great. I think uh, because we play below the rim and not above the rim, um, we're more skillful. We're more fundamentally sound. And then I think uh, the basketball IQ on the women's game is really strong because we have to be. We have to figure out different angles. We have to figure out um, where to be on the court. We have to um, understand the game. How the ball moves from side to side, the plays that we make, how you have all these individual players, but you put them together to watch art on the basketball court. The way it flows smoothly, it's easy to watch easy to understand and appreciate. Well, now it's at a place where the talent's still there, more talent's coming in, but the recognition, the visibility, the care of respecting the game of what we do, I think that's something that we have to start looking at, and not just the fan base, but also on the media side. When you first come into this league, your eyes are just, wide open, you don't know what to expect. When I entered the league, I felt like the WNBA was a big party. <laughs> That's how I honestly felt. I was just happy to be here. Listen, the reality of being a WNBA player is you go from this <clears throat> college experience where, you know, like celebrity status, I guess you would say if you're in college, because you are flying private and charter I and mean, everything is pretty much given to you and then you come here and it really is a, um, a culture shock um, because you're no longer flying private you're flying commercial with everybody else coming from a program like UConn where it's 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 easy to say that you're like rock stars pretty much men and women's basketball I mean you can't go to a mall or go somewhere where you're not being recognized and people are asking for your autograph or for pictures and um, they know pretty much everything about you. Freshman year, they know everything about you. And then moving up to the WBA, where you would expect, like, hey, hey, like a lot of media coverage, a lot of visibility. You would think that you would have more exposure. People would know who you are. It's not like that at all. It's frustrating when people get so mad at like the WNBA and I see some of these comments and I get them on social media all the time. And uh, for me, I deal with it the same way that I would have to deal with racial issues. And I have some level of tolerance, try to use forms of education. You want to always keep yourself at a higher level with class, but it's very difficult. It's very difficult for me to have a conversation with LeBron James or, you know, be at the Olympics or talk to Kobe Bryant about basketball stuff. And he respects and watches our game. But then to go past the YMCA and a guy that's over there eating a donut telling me that he can dunk on me and beat anybody in the WNBA. Like, your mind is not realistic. What's going on in your head is not realistic. We've been there. We've done that. I mean, I've kicked so many guys' asses on a basketball court that it's... I don't even give it a reaction, to be honest, because the reality is I grew up playing against guys. When people find out that I play basketball, when guys find out I play basketball, it's always like, oh, let's get this one-on-one -on -one pop in. Yeah, I'm going to push you up. Yeah, you can't beat me. You're bugging, bruh. You're tripping. <laughs> I'm a professional athlete. I do this for a living. If everyone's saying now is the time for it to be the female athlete, that's great. But is now the time to be an African-American woman, female athlete? That's the other question. You know, WNBA has been around since 1997, and there's been women athlete um, performing at a high level and doing just as amazing things as the Women in the World Cup. I just wish that um, the WNBA just had more spotlight. But the fact is, is that people have things in their head about the WNBA, about women's basketball, stereotypes. I think the perception is that you are gay, lesbian, or whatever. And I think that's why a lot of people shy away from it. One of my friends 
said to me one time about her young daughter, she didn't want her daughter to go into basketball because she thought that a lot of the girls were either lesbian or they were this or that, and she didn't want her daughter to turn out that way. And that was shocking to me because I felt like my friend was very liberal, very open-minded, but she was scared because of everything she thought about or that she heard about women's basketball without truly knowing. So this was really funny to me, but we sat down and we talked that thing out. We had a conversation about it. And then her views started to change. And that's the only thing I'm asking for our country to start doing, for people to start doing. Have these conversations instead of passing judgment without knowing the full truths. So how's it a great time to be a female athlete? If you pick and choose who you want to leave out or talk about, cover, or who you respect. Majority of the WBA is African American. It's because of how we look. I think I'm pretty dope. I am all for women. I am all for equality day in and to the day that I die. But I'm for all women, not just a few, and not just the ones that look pretty on camera, because we all play a vital role and what our society is gonna be shaped as. We have young girls that play this game, black, white, Hispanic, Latino, Asian, it doesn't matter. All shapes and sizes, small, big, tall, doesn't matter. But if we don't start showing them that we care about all women and not just some women, we're gonna have a problem on our hands.